Okay, so the reason why I kind of started the conversation down this way is because as people are getting off of cable and as the homes are lessening as far as what what these shows are able to reach, more wrestling product is being added. So it's like almost like the inverse is happening. We're 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 going back to um the early days of television the early 50s with boxing wrestling and roller derby when they immediately first became big hits on television and you know and it, it, it always happens in television you, you've been through enough of these where the genre uh, there's a hit show right oh yeah and everybody copies the formula of the hit show and two three years later all those shows are dead and um you know i don't know that that's going to happen in wrestling this time because the you know the um but but it you know i mean the 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 uh what's the word i'm looking for the um this you know you there right now instead of television looking for things um to draw these giant numbers they are now very much narrow everything because of so much competition so many things out there you're narrow casting in a hope that you can put on a product that will keep a a, a regular relatively stable number of viewers um, and WWE is phenomenal at this right now because they're in a hot period. But even when, if they were in a cold period, they would still be very valuable because of the nature of how things have changed. And and, and the sports are so much. I mean, if you, you know, that, I mean, that's, that's the value of the sports. Um, but yes, as you do more and more and more and more wrestling on television, it is, it's always been the case in television historically. You may get a period where you're going up and up and up, up and up and up. And now it's not even about up and up and up. Now it's please stay stable. As yeah. long, if you're staying stable, if you're staying stable, you're a winner. If you're down 10%, you're a winner. If you're down 20%, you're normal. If you're down 30%, that's bad. So, so I mean, that's that's essentially where we're at right now. And and um, but you know, yes, in the long run, with all this wrestling content. We could see a week where we have two matches, you know, in AEW this last week that people should be remembering in ten years. And I'm not saying they're going to forget these two in 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 a week, but but most of them, you know, you just move on, and it's it's uh what's it called the um uh, uh what's it called the uh the spinning of the wheel, whatever you know the diminishing returns, not diminishing returns, but you know um you know you're running really fast to go nowhere treadmill type mm -hmm. deal. Yeah, you're on this treadmill, and um, eventually, when you go on a treadmill, you do get off the treadmill, and that's one of the things that you know. If we're going to look at the future, it's something that uh, you know is can happen. I mean, even even with the best of storylines on television, and and right now, pro wrestling is a television product that is similar to the laws of all television products historically, in the sense that it is a attempt to draw ratings. And it's attempt to use storylines to draw ratings and intrigue people. But eventually, you know, I mean, you can look at, in most cases, there's a few shows that stood the test of time and lasted years and years and years and years. But um, a lot of shows that get super, super hot. And then, you know, um, you try to make spinoffs and blah, 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 blah. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not infinity. Well, I when when I th were, was it you who asked tony khan at the press conference about the pay-per-views yes it was me yeah and and so i think we probably expect them to do more i don't know if they're going to do 12 but we do expect them to do more because that's a part of the way that they make their and money he certainly he certainly answered it with the you know i mean his line was no strong company that has ever expanded its number of pay-per-views has ever regretted it in hindsight yes if you are a weak company and you expand you may regret it so yeah. the, the, so the key is to be a strong company and i don't i don't know that you can attack that argument but my question and i don't know if this is even something that they look at which is uh now with the two shows plus rampage and who knows what's going to happen to rampage in the future uh, if it was me, I would just condense it to two nights instead of three nights. Me, me too. Me too. I mean, the one thing, the one thing that I think that that this week really showed with the three-hour Saturday show, um, and that the third hour did well, is that you know, and I, and again, I'm not a fan of three-hour shows by any means, but I do believe 
for AW purposes for and NWBD purposes, that three hours on Wednesday and two hours on Saturday is far superior to two hours, two hours in that Friday show where people are going to skip that Friday show more and more. And we're already seeing it now. You know, I mean, the number just this last week alone, but we'll be seeing that Friday show go, go under an 0.10. Um, you know, I, I think that that's inevitable because people are going to, you know, it's just your decision making is, is that I will watch Saturday, but, but I got to give something up and Friday's the one I'm giving up. And ag again, I, this is how I would have attacked that argument, which is there's never been a time in TV history where the pay per view aspect of it, if we include streaming as a pay per viewing sort of phenomenon is more competitive than than it is today. There, There is, uh, you know, with WWE and their PLEs, UFC has all of their pay-per-view shows. Uh, and now AEW has all of their pay per view shows, but and now, every, and, but every indie does on fight. So yeah, this, and, and, and that's and, a, that's a and, little and, bit of competition. And and new and new Japan and um, CMLL has something, although I'm, no one in the United States gets it. But I mean, they have you know, there's everyone. Everyone essentially has pay per views now, um, and they're not a big deal anymore because they're. I can go on fight, and you know, I feel like I can watch you know three of them any saturday night if i want to you know but i mean you know it's too much i'm sure if there was only one and the big companies didn't have one i'd probably check out you know some of these smaller companies but there's just not enough time in the day and you just hope you know i mean the thing that happens is is and this is you know for the talent it's like they kind of hope that they can get a buzz with a match to get the people to go okay i gotta at least watch this match like the miyahara match with um nakajima which i'm sure a lot of people are going to watch that never watch all japan or pro wrestling noah just because they're going to hear the buzz about the match and then they're gonna go oh my god man this because i know people who know who don't know anything about either of those two guys but they watched that match and it was kind of like even for to them that was a match of the year and maybe even it would maybe it was even better for them than than us than for me having seen these guys a lot because it was kind of like i've never seen these guys they're incredible and they are you know so so Th that the idea of there just being so much competition for eyeballs these days in a universe in which less and less people are watching. I think that's that makes this situation quite different from when Vince and Eric Bischoff decided to go monthly because they were not up against the same uh, competition for you know, I was I was talking to a friend Absolutely. the other day. Absolutely. You're right. It's it's, I was th it's it's totally different from the 90s. Yes. I was talking to a buddy and he said. Because we we were talking about the wrestling stuff and you know the the, the up and coming TV deals and how much these things are worth, and he said, you know, WWE and AEW they're not just competing against each other or competing against sports or competing against streaming services, they're really competing against my time away from my phone. And they're, he was talking they're, about they're competing with my time away from social interaction. Yeah, that that too yes. as as well. Yes, and so. When, when when the product is is so when there's so many hours and now a lot of people who are probably watching this um grew up in an on-demand world which isn't how we grew up when it came to content so maybe to them they're just like oh this is how i've always sort of watched television anytime i wanted to watch something it was available for me to just press a button and watch that's kind of what it is right now yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah but um i do i do worry that this deal, whatever the future of the deal is with WBD, because Tony has said multiple times that this was a David Zaslov ask. Yes. And I think being a great partner is a good thing for Absolutely. one. Absolutely. But Absolutely. at the same time, putting all your eggs in this basket, maybe to the detriment of your, your product, I, I'm sure he measures that as well. But that's something that I've been thinking a lot more lately with uh as we we discuss the future of these tv what, rights what, what, what about what about the idea that that came out just yesterday and i mean it's been speculated and talked about before of of smackdown going to wbd then <laughs> that would where, be where, crazy where, where's tony i mean there's so many there's like there's so many things like this is a this is it's it's so different from any other era of wrestling because other eras of wrestling you know i mean they were all we got to kind of, we got to, we got to make a match to get people to buy tickets on Saturday night or Friday night or Thursday night or whatever night we're in the town. That is all our job. Now it's like, I mean, that's cool and it's important, but the most important thing is, is the world stays stable in a world that is absolutely not going to stay stable. Yes. You know, it's like, it's like, 
you know, the days of, um, you know, the, you know, the, the company knowing it will survive because it's a monopoly company in your territory and, you know, they'll have your good weeks and your bad weeks, but you'll always survive. Um, I mean, it's like, there's no, that, 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 that's, it's, it's just a completely different world now, you know, now it's all incumbent on television rights fees. And, you know, it's like, it's not like, you know, like, again, if, if WWE lost their television rights fees and had to rely on the live gates, they'd be doomed. Yeah. Um, I mean, and AEW would be doomed even more. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, um, and, and neither of them are doomed, you know, no. by any means, but it's a weird, it's just a weird, um, just a weird period right now because I mean, everything is about, you know, every, all of your success going forward is about the deals you make, like the, the WWE deal with Peacock. It's not about, while it's always better to have a hotter product, the, the amount of money that that's the difference between selling a bunch of merchandise because somebody gets hot or selling a bunch, you know, extra tickets in a market because the product is hot as compared to making the better deal is, is, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's, the deal is by far the most important thing. That's why like Nick Khan is so, so much more valuable than Roman Reigns. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not even, it's not, it's not even comparable. Whereas in another era, uh, Roman Reigns would be way more valuable than, than Nick Khan. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.